Hi, my name is Eric George with the Building Performance Group, and today we're out in Bannon's Crossings, which is a Dominion Homes neighborhood, and I'm getting ready to do the final inspection uh, for the Energy Star Home certification on one of their new homes. And right behind me, I've got the blower door set up in one of their, in the front door here, and I'm going to uh, turn the blower door on. It's going to tell me how leaky the house is. Based on my experience working with Dominion so far, their houses are substantially tight uh, because of the air sealing and the insulation that they do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing turned on and we're going to see how tight this house is. So what I'm doing is turning the blower door on right now and I'm creating a pressure difference of 50 pascals between the inside and the outside of the house which basically simulates about 20 mile an hour winds hitting the house from every angle at the same time. So right now it's telling me that at this pressure difference, the house is leaking around 850 CFM, which for an 1800 square foot house is really tight. So that's, that's a good first start to the process. Now we've got the air leakage test done and I'm getting ready to cover all the duct work in the house, all the supply and return registers um, with these plastic grill covers and this is in preparation for the duct blaster test that will tell me uh, how leaky the duct system is with respect to the outside so I'm going to go around and start hooking these up and sealing off the ducts. Now that we've gotten all the supply and return ducts uh, covered and sealed the next step is to do the duct leakage test so what I'm going to do is use the blower door system over here to create a pressure difference of about half of what I did uh, for the first test and while it's simulating air leakage on the house uh, whatever air gets into the house and into the duct system we're going to balance back out with the duct blaster which Sean has upstairs so we're going to show you what the duct blaster looks like here in a second and we're going to see what kind of reading we get with this house so we got the blower door set up and it's simulating air leakage on the house again we're ready for our duct test and Sean's going to turn it on and see what kind of numbers we get like we got about 45 CFM of duct leakage to outside which is within Energy Star standards so this house actually passes but we still need to check the attic for insulation depth and quality installation and get some model numbers and we'll be finished with this inspection. First measuring stick says 10 inches but it's piled higher farther back. That one there says 11. It's 10 to 11, except where it's heaped on the ducts. Okay. So one new test that's being required for Energy Star version 3 is to do a pressure differential between uh, each one of the bedrooms and the main living space of the house. And the purpose of doing a pressure differential is so that it verifies that the uh, same amount of air that is going into the room through the duct system is also coming back out of the room. So one of the reasons why some rooms are a lot hotter or colder than others is because the rooms are unbalanced. The HVAC system is pushing too much air or pulling too little air back out of that room so it creates a temperature difference. So what I've got is my pressure gauge here and I'm going to run a pressure hose into the room like that. I've got the air handler running on the furnace. I'm closing the door and I want that number to be less than three pascals. And right now it's right at 2.8 to 3. So as long as it's less than 3, it's okay for Energy Star standards. So this room's good. 